revolution of dignity or coup d'etat. Russia claims the West was behind the Maidan protests, spreading fake news and propaganda about Ukraine across Europe. It's time we know the truth. Russia has been claiming the Maidan revolution was a coup d'etat, orchestrated by the West to turn Ukraine into an anti-Russian puppet state. This narrative was used to justify the annexation of Crimea and unleashing war in Donbass in 2014. And the same statements we heard from Vladimir Putin when he announced the so-called special military operation in February 2022. Why it wasn't a coup d'etat? A coup is when a group of conspirators topples down a government and takes over power. Ukraine's political opposition had little to no influence on the protests, and the protesters had no intent to take power in the country. Instead, Petro Poroshenko was elected president of Ukraine by an internationally recognized election in May 2014. Before that, the country had a temporary government as the former President Yanukovych and his associates had fled the country. Prior to that, the Ukrainian opposition, official representatives of Poland, Germany and France and Yanukovych himself signed a document called the Agreement on the Settlement of the Political Crisis in Ukraine. Russia refused to sign. Moreover, covert occupation of Crimea had started two days before Yanukovych and his accomplices fled the country. By spreading this fake narrative, Russia used a propaganda technique called demonization and dehumanization of the enemy. Its purpose is to promote the idea that Ukraine lost its sovereignty and thus poses danger to Russia's national security. Though Ukraine has never demonstrated any intent to harm Russia or its people. 